Man, I can really feel Mama Bear's desperation now. I've never felt her. <laughs> I've never, I've never felt this much deliberate. Um, like all the previous times could have been coincidental. Oh, that, that's me. Oh, go away. Um, I've never, I, all the previous times could have been incidental, but this time, man, this time. <laughs> She was like, you gotta make sure, you gotta make sure your chest is visible. You gotta stand up straight so your chest sticks out. <laughs> and I'm like, why do I want that? <laughs> and she was like, Urika, we need to get you some new bras. <laughs> we need to get you some new bras. So there's more definition to your chest. And I was like, why? <laughs> are they not perfectly fine as they are? Because I usually wear sports bras and they kind of compress everything. So it makes me look like flatter than I actually am. <laughs> And she's like, Urka, we need to get you, we need to, we need to get you some, some, uh, some better bras. <laughs> like, I have an older brother. Why can't you, why can't you ask him for grandchildren? <laughs> why don't you ask him first? Why are you asking me? His kids wouldn't be as cute as yours. We have the same genes. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you, what do you mean? <laughs> Our genes are the same. Our C A M P F I R E S O N G song. Chest definition is of the utmost importance. It's so funny, man, because I don't think Mama Bear like knew actually what size I was before, and she was like bringing me all the stuff, right? And I was like, Mom, you are way overestimating. The cup is half empty, <laughs> and she was like, It's okay. It's supposed to be like that. I was like, I don't think so. <laughs> I was like, mom, I can press my hand like halfway through this cup. And she was like, it's supposed to look like that. Don't worry. <laughs> and I was like, no, mom, there's like a lot of space. And she's like, so she was like, how much space is there? And I was like, well, it's like a half empty. And she was like, there's no way. There's no way. <laughs> she, she was like, how could that be? What went wrong? And I was like, what do you mean? What went wrong? <laughs> <laughs> she was like, but it fits me perfectly fine. I was like, yeah, we're different people. <laughs> Puyo Puyo, favorite thing is chat. False advertising. What do you mean false advertising? I never told you the size of the cup. What if she was giving me H cup sizes? I'm clearly only double D. No. <laughs> Urka's mom learned that day her children are not an extension of herself. See, the thing is, I am pretty much the exact same. The thing is, okay, I am pretty much the exact same size as Mama Bear was when she was the same age as me. I can wear all of her clothes. Actually, some of her clothes are a little too wide for me. My waist is a little smaller. I am the same size other than chest size. <laughs> that is the only dif- Chest and waist are the only difference. I can wear all of her old clothes. I took her old like, I took her old business formal. I was trying on her business formal. She had a lot of those. Mama Bear was an office lady. So she has a lot of business formal. So I was trying on all her girl boss clothes and they all fit perfectly fine. But the thing is, I feel like it kind of makes sense that her chest is larger because she's had children. Doesn't that affect something? I don't have those childbearing, wait no. <laughs> That's hips, not waist. My waist is smaller. My waist and chest are smaller, but other than that, same size. Having children makes them grow, but you're looking at 2.5 cup sizes up. That's a lot! That's a lot of cup sizes! That's so much! So maybe I, so maybe I was, she was the same size and then it just grew. That would make sense. It's just, I just find it so funny. That, I find it so funny that she, she just could not believe that the cups were empty. <laughs> or not, they weren't completely empty, just like half empty. And I was like, I'm not gonna show you. It was not completely empty. I am not, I am not flat. I am not flat. Look at, look at me, look, look, look at me right now. That is a supremely nice set of boobs. <laughs> Those are boobs. My fellow brothers, in the face of our common dangers, in this winter of our hardship, remember these timeless words, as we can. <laughs>